Live shot of Young and Dundas Square. Good Friday morning, Toronto. This is Breakfast Television. Dina Pugliese, Sid Sixero here with you. With COVID and the constant lockdowns, have you found yourself feeling a bit more agitated? Have you found yourself uh, more anxious than ever? I think we're all kind of in the same boat. Uh, our next guest is Professor Steve Jordans from the University of Toronto. And he's been offering free classes to help people manage their mental health. Uh, Professor Jordans, welcome to BT. Good morning. Great. It's good to be with you. Thank you. Okay, this is like I'm waiting for the catch. Free classes? How did you even come up with this I like idea? That. Free ninety nine. That's a good yeah. price. Free, Free ninety nine. Talk to me, Doc. No, I mean, literally a year ago, you know, when this all started, I was feeling how anxious I felt, and and I've lectured on anxiety before and how to manage it, and it just seemed like it was a good time to create a free course, um, throw it up there, and try to help other people kind of understand what we're all going through. So, how does it roll out? Is it a one on one? Is it a bunch of people on a Zoom call? How does it work? So it's one of these so-called MOOC, Massive Open Online Courses, um, which means that it's, it's available online asynchronously so people can watch lectures anytime they want. It's sort of four modules worth of lectures that deal with different topics. For example, the very first one is just, what is anxiety? Why do we feel the way we do? Uh, and it turns out it's just a very basic biological reaction to threat. Um, the only problem, of course, with COVID is the threat is not going away. So it's what we call a chronic anxiety, and that's what wears on us, makes us feel a little stupid. Sometimes we put on a bit of weight, uh, and we have to manage it, or it, it actually compromises our immune system at some point. What are the stages, Professor, to managing the anxiety of all this? Because, like, as you, as you just mentioned, it doesn't seem like it's going away soon, we mm -hmm. hope, but it seems like it's going to linger for a bit. How, how do you break up the course in terms of dealing with anxiety and the mental aspects yep. of this day in and day out? So there's sort of two strategies that I talk about. And so I begin talking about sort of quick fixes, things that you can do to literally use the environment to put yourself into a better mind state. So I'll just give you one concrete example that I recommend to families, which is karaoke. Um, in, in a lot of smart TVs in the menu system, there's a karaoke uh, option. And just singing songs with your family, singing, dancing, those sorts of activities tend to promote a very positive mental state. They also release endorphins, which counter the cortisol that stress reduces. So sometimes just thinking of certain activities you can engage in to give ourselves a break and, and to sort of reverse some of the negative effects. That's the kind of quick fix. The, the more difficult strategy is you can learn a skill of actually summoning the opposite of anxiety. And the opposite is relaxation. Uh, and so you can learn with some guidance how what relaxation really feels like and you can learn to summon it on command. Um, and that's a skill that takes a lot, bit of time to learn, but if somebody learns that, they can use that all through their life anytime they're feeling any kind of emotional anxiety. A lot of people are feeling this for the first time. It's an emotional roller coaster. Some days I'm like, I got this. Other days, it knocks me down on its knees. More and more people I know have COVID yeah. right now. You worry for them, you worry for yourself. You think it's the light at the end of the tunnel. Boom, in comes more bad news. For people who are watching right now, and they want a great useful tip to get them out of that funk, aside from karaoke or, like you said, meditation. What's another practical thing they could do today? Um, that, you know, our go-to strategy is social outreach. And usually, if we were feeling bad and feeling scared, we would go to somebody and hug them. And, and we can't always do that now. But what we're not doing enough of is reaching out and connecting with other people around us and just hearing their voice. You know, we used to have a concept of pen pals. I would recommend people get a few phone buddies and just watch a TV show with them and then talk to them about it afterwards. That social connection is the biggest thing to kind of give us a sense of mental stability. Professor, before we let you go, uh, what is the website? Where do people have to go to get onto these free courses? And I understand there's also an app in the works as well. Explain, please. Yeah, so, so the website is something called Coursera.org, so like CourseRA.org, and you can just search mind control, which sounds a little ominous, but it's about <laughs> learning to control your own mind uh, during times like this. And yes, we are just about to release an app called Little Rain, which is also free, and it's to help people learn that skill of relaxation. So it just sort of gamifies the practice that you have to do um, to get that skill down. Professor Jordans, a.k.a. Billy Credup Lookalike, Thank you so much. He's a movie star. Go Google him. You said, I asked you during the break, you, you never get that? Never? 
Okay. No, <laughs> but yeah, you're, me. you're almost famous. You're on BT today. <laughs> almost you famous. Okay. Excellent. Great actor, great show. Google him, and you're awesome. Thank you for your tips. Check that. He is famous. He's yes. on Breakfast Television. Yes. All right. Uh, beautiful weekend in store here, as Frankie's been telling you most of the morning. And the city of Toronto is now getting ready to make social distancing easier for visitors at our favorite shop this morning, Trinity Bellwoods Park. We'll tell you how. Coming up after the break. Good morning, Toronto. This is BT.